harvest is served. Sick. Morning, Matt. Thanks, legend. No, thank you. Gary? Thank morning. You. What have we got in here? This oh. like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody, how are you guys doing today? We're back here at Uluru, but this time we are here for sunrise. It is just starting to peak over. It is so beautiful. We're here with the crew. We've got Melissa just here. Hello. Oh yeah, I don't think I've properly introduced this. Is Melissa, an amazing photographer hi, here guys. in Australia. You're based in the Gold Coast. Yes, I am. <laughs> Definitely check out her Instagram. I'll link it down below. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and then we have Mr. <laughs> Mr. Turn on post notifications for Mr. these guys. <laughs> I don't even know who that guy is. And then we've got Gary just here, working away. The whole photographer crew. I'll let him work in peace. And this is pretty much all the gear that everyone is currently shooting on. Come in. <laughs> don't be mean to Sony. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. sorry. Alrighty guys, that was an amazing beautiful sunrise i'm so glad to be back in australia and seeing these sunrises they're so different to everywhere else in the world and having this backdrop to watch it next to like i mean that is bucket list right there i know i've been saying that all through yesterday but it, it's so beautiful to come down here and also we came to the sunset spot there are no tourists here everyone's at the sunrise spot that's where you'll find like all the tour buses here We've got Matt just behind us packing up. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Oh, hey, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Oh, wow. I just walked out of the screen, I think. Uh, yeah? I Let can't me see just... anything. The sun is just shining in my eyes. But... How are you feeling anyway this morning? Yeah, good. Could use a coffee, definitely. But I think we're going to go for a walk now to the base of uh, that big red rock, Uluru. You know what it is. That sounds good. That sounds fun. And we've got a park ranger who's nicely taking us around, which is really cool. And like I said, there's no one here. Come to the sunset spot for sunrise. And I wonder if you should go to the sunrise spot for sunset. not feeling the best she's getting a little bit of a cold i think from all the different flights so this she... is what happens when you go into how many planes five planes in the last couple of days yeah so that's why she was kind of hiding in the car just before. i was still watching the sunset though and it was beautiful but i'm feeling a little bit better now that i've eaten something good, still good. need a coffee still need a coffee but we've currently come to the base of uluru this and is it is closest... incredible it looks even bigger when you come up this close Definitely. It's like starting to tower over us. I feel like I'm going to walk into the shade just as the sun disappears. Ooh. I feel like your mom is really going to enjoy these videos, I know. your parents. I think they're going to be jealous. I know that they really, really want to come here. Also, guys, if you do come to Uluru, make sure you wake up every single morning for the sunrise. And make sure you come every afternoon for the sunset. Yes. Every time it's like... It doesn't get old and the mm -hmm. colors change so much mm -hmm. i didn't expect it i was expecting reds and oranges but there were like, like some and sometimes it'll and... turn like blues and stuff it was so beautiful guys we've just come to mudajula watering hole and really interesting we we're just told see just here where the water is trickling down and yes water does come down from there that is the actual color of uluru so it's and actually gray it's grey. And then it rusts because yeah. there's a lot of iron in it and that's what makes it this like orangey colour. So, so really it's grey. So really, I'm glad it rusts because it looks really cool orange. Yeah, so everyone gets excited over a bit of rust on the, on the yeah. rock. But this is so beautiful and if you hear a little bit, you can hear a bit of trickling coming down from the waterfall. So it's still running. Alright, we found a little cave that we can actually go inside and this needs to happen. I've come all this way. I've touched Oro. Oh, it's nice and warm as well. Now, this cave is actually super interesting the way it's designed. It's almost like a bit of a wave. Guys, unfortunately it's come to the end. It's been a super quick trip. But this guy is actually traveling a bit more of the NT. Where are you heading off to? Uh, today we're going to Curtin Springs and then Mount Connor and then we're off to Alice Springs. I think these guys were there a few months ago, so. We did some fun stuff. I think you might do some things that we did, which I, I hope you do the hot air balloon because yeah. you didn't do it. Fingers crossed, <laughs> Fingers then it goes crossed. up and then it's all going. Well. 
Also, um, Matt was vlogging this time, so if you're interested to see like another YouTuber's perspective, check it out because he does amazing vlogs. Also, amazing time lapses. Amazing a double, time lapses. A double with time lapses. Yeah. A double a lot though. So. <laughs> he showed me some of his footage from this one at Uluru. Maybe don't go check out his stuff because then you're not going to come back to us. But <laughs> subscribe from these guys, subscribe to me. <laughs> but check him out, he's really awesome. He's based in Sydney as well, so come say hi if you are in Sydney. See you guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> this is so nice to meet you, enjoy the rest of your trip. See ya! <laughs> I feel like next time we come to the NT, and I feel like I said the last time we were in the NT, I need to get one of these hats. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it is our last day and I feel like I might be getting a migraine so we've come to look for a supermarket. We've been told that Uluru has like a little tiny town so we're trying to find it. We have 20 minutes until our bus takes us to the airport. Plus I haven't seen the town so I want to quickly quickly, oh I see a sign saying supermarket. Yes. I'm surprised how well my shoes lasted. They're pretty white still. <laughs> I think I found a reason to come back. I want to skydive here. How cool is that? That would be cool. Oh I'm, my I'm god. I'm still trying to find a place where I'd like to skydive a day. Again, because I think Dubai was peak. Yeah. That was really cool. But that, that could tempt me. Alrighty guys, welcome to the town of Uluru. There we go. Supermarket, post office, bank. That's all you need. Like two buildings. Let's go, we've got 15 minutes. This is what I need. How cute is that? Like literally, this here, is the entire town of Uluru. And there you go, there's your town tour. All right, let's go catch a flight. All right, that has been amazing time here in Uluru, but we'll see you guys in Perth. What, what are we doing in Sydney? Finally home back in Perth. <laughs>